Hello everyone, this is DA from e Academy. Today we'll see the very important concept in a topological spaces that is of Hausdorff spaces, also known as T2 spaces. And T2 spaces are the most important type of spaces that to be discussed. So moving toward the definition of a Hausdorff space or T2 space. So if we have a topological space X, then this space is said to be a Hausdorff space or T2 space if any two point in the space can be separated by open sets and for this we call it U and V. So U and V are the open sets for a topological space X and the intersection of U and V must be empty in order to be a space out of space. So more precisely, if a space X is said to be Hausdorff or T2 space, if for any two points in X or in a topological space, there exist open sets such that their intersection must be empty. So now we'll see some of the examples to understand this concept. So here we have a finite topological space X containing point A, B, C and D and a topology tau containing the open sets. So checking that this topological space is a Hausdorff space or not. So we'll see that if we checking, if we pick any two points, let's say we have A, B, then there is an open set A and there is an open set B such that the intersection of both of the open sets is empty. So this is true now. And then if we take A and C, then we have open sets A that contains A and we have open set B, C that contains C such that intersection of A and B, C is empty and can be visualized here. Now if we take A and D, we have open set A here, but we don't have any set open set such that the D contains in it and the intersection of D is with A is empty because D is only in X and X is this whole open set and intersection of D with the with eventually uh, intersection of X with this A is not empty. So this implies that X is not a T2 space and now moving toward another example. Every metric space is Hausdorff space and this is really very important example of the T2 space and how every metric space is Hausdorff space. So if we have a metric space X and D and A and B are very two distinct points of X must be greater than zero. And the concept of metric spaces was discussed in one of the previous videos of the function analysis. So you may check it. Now uh, we are talking about that we have a metric, uh, that metric of A, B uh, is greater than zero. And if we define open balls uh, on centered at A and B of radius R by two, such as, so these open balls uh, centered at A and B of radius R by two are distinct open balls, uh, because we know that all, every open ball is an open set. So this is an open set as well. So this is the precise way of saying that every metric space is they do. So this is for now you're looking for most of the videos and you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.